let's laser focus in on the problem we have with these COINTELPRO people being used to frame us. Here is a shocking statistic. 99% of the censorship that you see, I say it again, 99.9% .9 of the censorship you see is due to COINTELPRO doing something and then they react and say, oh, look, this is why we need censorship. John Sullivan, a guy who was released conditionally without bail. This is a person who is a agent provocateur in the FBI's COINTELPRO program. He was also in another protest that ended in a shooting. This government agent just so happened to have the best footage of the woman getting shot. And he's also the one who told the cops to leave. Then the lady got shot. So his words and actions could be argued that it's because of him that the lady got shot. Because if those cops were still there, it's possible that lady would never went through the window and she would have never got shot. But this is the guy who's released conditionally without bail. Word on the street is Joker had two private lawyers. Why does he have that? Well, military background family, but the Joker's owned by the government. This is a government agent here. That's their property. We're going to laser focus in on this girl here, Jade Sacker. Jade Sacker worked for BuzzFeed News in that she was a photographer for them. Even though you want to say she's freelancer. Yeah, but I see here Jade Sacker for BuzzFeed News. BuzzFeed is known for pushing a specific agenda, which a lot of times is, hey, pointing out the COINTELPRO and then saying, hey, this is why we need censorship. So while that is alarming, this is even more alarming. This guy right here is going to be in a upcoming Netflix special. That's right. There's a bigger piece of propaganda they want to sell to us using this asset of theirs. More than likely, it's gonna be some type of radicalization crap, but whatever it is, I want you to understand and ask yourself, what are the odds of them already working on a Netflix special and him end up being in the riot, which is one of the biggest things to happen in this decade. Probably in the past two decades, take away some other events. Major event. What are the odds of that, that they get the footage and then when you hear him t talking, he's saying, hey, just wait, I told you. And she's saying, we did it, you, you told me. And they hug and all this type of stuff. He knew, also seen footage, y'all seen it, of one of the other guys saying, you want the footage of a lifetime and then saying, follow me. And the, and the guy from press followed him. There's people that knew already. Again, what are the odds of him being in a Netflix special, not everybody gets those. It's not a little YouTube video now. And being in the Capitol riot, which was supposed to be so spontaneous, nobody knew that that was gonna happen. And now it's all on footage. More proof this stupid crap was set up from the get-go. Red, silver, J, all I gotta say.